able to see in front of me. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we're on our full tank, which is left. That's on. Right tank's off. Good. Looks good. My flaps are half. Turn this radio on, or you want it off? I wanted it off till we got okay. down there. All right. Uh. So you got your flaps set. Flaps set. Carb heat's checked. Carb Check heat that. checked. All right. Mags were good. Controls. Yep. Well. Okay. I uh, I think it's probably good for the gusto. Get that tail up if you can. And hold it a little bit low. Let her get some speed. Nose down a little bit. For a minute, I'll get our course on. Yeah, I can tell you where it's at. Space the time a bit, but we're going under it. It's a 5,000 foot. All right. And uh, we're not coming anywhere near Lunkin. Like I said, just to the east of Sporties. Okay. <sighs> All right, so uh, did you set the altimeter? Yep. A uh, thousand feet or so? Yep. All right. All right. Okay, I got it. Got it. That uh, it was trimming up. The nose needs to go down a little bit, but on something like this, do you, what altitude do you like to keep? Uh, I'd probably go up to like 2,500 or something. When I get, when we get kind of near the river and over the river, it's mostly hilly. Yeah. So then I like to climb up to like 35. Oh, with really? A little more options. Okay. from forever and yeah. that's nice because one of them's right on our way okay but can't see it just do a nice easy climb up to 25 yeah we're gonna have good ground speed today i got a tailwind wonder, wonder what it is good morning everyone this uh dewey and dow here we're dry or flying down to uh the gene snyder airport which is Dow's actual airport. My alma mater. Yeah. <laughs> so we're flying to Fairchild down. This is the second flight that Dow's made since we got the official airworthiness certificate. And uh, we did a video, but I didn't have any audio. So I'm not gonna, I'm not sure how I'm gonna edit that. But uh, we shot a, I think like eight to 10 landings or something like that. 
we did asphalt, grass, runway, crosswinds, and uh, now we're going down to his airport to see if this is going to fit in the hangar. Uh, he's sharing a hangar with a Waco, cabin Waco, that's actually for sale. So if anyone's looking for a cabin Waco with a shaky Jake 275 on it. Continental, 240. Oh, really? Yeah, a nice one, zero time. So Continental. Hey, that's nice. So is it a, it should be a 220. 240. It's 240, huh? Yeah. It must have some different cylinders on it or something. But uh, it's for sale. You can get hold of Dow, you can email me, we'll give you guys the information, but hey, it's for sale, it's a beautiful airplane, I should guys, I'll show you guys the, the airplane uh, that's for sale. I get a commission, Dow, if I sell this. <laughs> well, we'll talk to Dan about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, Dow's been flying it, and uh, this, like I said, the second time. How did you like it the first time? Or the, We actually flew it, he flew it once before... Uh, we actually uh, deregistered it, but uh, he only did like two landings, two takeoffs on a comp day. Yeah, and flew it across country, but never landed it or took it off. Um, you know, like I said before, I've only flown the peak a couple hundred hours and a whole different animal. Um, yeah, this is, the Pete's like a little sports car. And this is like, a, this is like your mama's station wagon. <laughs> In a nice way, I mean solid. Uh, compared to the peat, the visibility is great. Uh, I'm not used to being able to see the runway when I fly. That's new. Uh, not used to seeing the little blue airplane move on my fourth flight quite so fast. <laughs> but um, solid. The landings, uh, we had pretty good crosswind that day. Uh, it's definitely a learning curve. Obviously, grass is easier. Um, keep my feet moving. It's a, it's a heavy tail, so there's a lot of momentum there once things start moving sideways, but um, they do happen slower than in the peat. The peat's, I won't say it's twitchy, but it does exactly what I tell it. This feels like there's a, a little bit of a lag, which gives me a little time to do stuff. Right. Yeah, the, uh, I don't know. I think you did a good job, man. But I love the ambiance. I mean, that's the, that's the, that's the gravy. And the icing on the cake is just sitting in this 1930s Cadillac-looking interior and looking down over those wheel spats. It's just, there's just the coolness factor. It's really fun. Yes. Well, it's been fun flying around. I enjoy it. You can see the airport right up ahead of us about 1230, 1 o'clock. Uh, you guys got a sauce there or anything? Got it turned on. Not hearing anything. Uh, I can't hear stuff. Maybe turn it up. Calm. Visibility <laughs> one zero. Two hundred. Overcast. Temperature eight Celsius. Dew point minus five. Altimeter three zero four two. Be aware of runway closures weekdays the first two weeks of March. Please check items for most up to date information. Well, that's a big limestone pit. Yeah, it is. Um, the traffic, Blue Fairchild, entering uh, left downwind for runway three. Albus traffic. I got the helicopter there. He's about nine, ten, no, nine, ten o'clock. Yeah, I know him. All right. Can you ever call a guy and just say hey? Oh, he can on easy and calm. Hey, Charlie. You don't want to talk too much on the radio like that, but no.
Made it to Gene Snyder here, and uh, we're going to try to fit this airplane in where the peak and pole is. But this is Dow's peak and pole he built some years ago. This thing's beautiful. Look at that, uh, it's the flying pig. Uh, you're pretty close, but you, you're gonna hit. And you're good over here now. You got plenty of stuff. Weeks ago, so I started spreading this stuff around. Okay, wow. So, I got one of these on the floor in the back of the cabin. Then Down the traffic, Blue Fairchild uh, taking runway three, departing to the north. Down the traffic. Got a lot of room. Want me to go to the end or? No, you don't. Okay. We're, we are at the end. Okay, so cards on. I'm not, everything's good.
Okay, yeah, you ready? I think so. Al and I were heading back up north. Uh, we did a trial fit for his fair child to fit into the his hangar, so it worked pretty good, didn't it? Yes. It fit with room to spare. Do you think we can stick the peat and pole in there in the corner? Maybe stick it on its nose. We're gonna go and shoot a couple landings over at I think Clinton County Airport, and then head back to my place. Sounds good. Clinton County traffic, Blue Fairchild turning left base for runway three. Clinton County. Cincinnati West traffic, Piper 09 or Health Hills, two miles up to the northeast, inbound for one. Cincinnati West. Don't get on the brakes. Don't get on the brakes. Middletown traffic, fast track to one about 10 minutes prior to jumpers. 14,000 feet below you. Cosmos, Danny Middletown, Scott Avenue.